Hello, and welcome to the presentation on calculating event based inter observer agreement. Event based inter observer agreement, or IOA measures, are used for event recording or frequency count data. We will cover how to calculate four different types of percentage agreement using data obtained from two independent observers recording the frequency of talking out during classwork during five five minute intervals. Here we see the frequency of talking out recorded by our two independent observers during each of the five minute intervals, and the bottom shows the total number of talkouts recorded for observer one and observer two. Total count IOA is the simplest approach for event based data. It represents the percentage agreement between two observers' recordings for the entire observation period and is calculated by dividing the smaller total count observed by the larger total count observed and multiplying by 100%. In our sample data, observer 1 recorded four instances of the target response. During the same observation, observer 2 recorded three instances of the target response. Dividing the smaller count by the larger count and multiplying by 100%, our total count IOA equals 75%. The partial agreement within intervals approach divides the observation period into smaller intervals and examines agreement within each interval. This approach increases the accuracy of the agreement measure by increasing the likelihood that observers were recording the same event of the target response during observation. In our sample data, observers 1 and 2 agreed on the number of instances of talking out during intervals 1, 2, 3, and 5, resulting in an IOA of 1, but disagreed during interval 4, resulting in an IOA of 0. Divide by the number of intervals and multiply by 100%, our IOA is 80%. The most conservative approach to IOA is the exact agreement approach. Using this measure, only exact agreements during an interval result in that interval being scored as a 1. Any disagreements will be scored as a 0. In our sample data, observers 1 and 2 agreed on the number of instances of talking out during intervals 1, 2, 3, and 5, but disagreed on interval 4, so 4 intervals had a value of 1. Divide by the number of intervals, multiply by 100%, our IOA is 80%. The previous IOA methods can be used for free operant responses, but not for trial-based or yes-no measurement systems. Trial-by-trial trial IOA measures the number of trials with agreement divided by the total number of trials. This metric is as stringent as the exact agreement approach. If our observers had taken trial-by-trial trial data on the occurrence or non-occurrence of talking out, we would sum the number of trials on which they agreed, trials 1, 2, 3, and 5, and divide by the total number of trials. Multiply by 100% and our IOA is 80%. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, you can reach me at nneal at uwo.ca.